Hello, my name is Sonia Sotomayor, and I'm here today to talk to you about a very serious Supreme Court case, one of which you all will be interested in. The case is McCulloch v. Maryland. This case takes place in the early 1800s when some financial stability was a problem. After the War of 1812 between the United States and the British Empire, the banks were collapsing. Few banks made it through, but all still needed money. The United States granted a bank a charter worth $35 million. In other words, they started a bank. People of Maryland did not like this, so they passed legislation to tax the bank. A cashier at the bank, James McCulloch, refused to pay the tax. The case went to the Maryland Court of Appeals. Maryland argued that it says nowhere in the Constitution that the government has the right to start a bank like they had just done. McCulloch's side argued that taxing a bank goes against the Constitution. Maryland Court of Appeals upheld the claim, meaning the tax did stand. The case then went to Supreme Court where the same arguments were presented. These arguments being that it says nowhere in the Constitution that the government has power to start a bank. McCulloch's side saying that taxing a bank goes against the Constitution. The Supreme Court reversed. Because this case was reversed, the government now has authority to charter or start a bank. The case McCulloch v. Maryland is important because it is an example of the supremacy clause. Although the states do have power to tax a bank, the government's power is greater, therefore they can start a bank without facing any consequences, such as a state taxing the bank they started. Why can I not remember that? Are you still filming it? Yeah.